Hello, I'm Rick Hartzell. I'm the Service and Warrior Coordinator at Hartzell Air Movement. Please enjoy the following fan maintenance video. Okay, I'm going to check the belt tension. All right, belts seem like they're a little, little bit, little loose. So I'll go ahead and I'll uh, adjust the motor and tighten the belts. So, got four bolts. Just loosen them up. Two at the top. And you got the motor adjusting bolts right here. Tighten them up a little bit. actually dropping the motor. So the belts will be the belts will get a little tighter. Just back and forth. Okay, belts are tighter, but you want to make sure the motor is the same on each side. So you're measuring from the bottom of the, or the top of the motor to the top of the motor adjustable base. And here we've got four and a sixteenth of an inch. Here's four and a quarter, so I gotta straighten the motor base up a little bit. Pull the back up a little more. I want the front to drop a little bit. About the same measurement. And we'll go back, we'll tighten up the motor bolts. Tension seems pretty good. What Rick just showed you is a maintenance man, layman's way to check belt tension. A lot of maintenance men do it with their thumb. What I'm going to show you is a little more sophisticated way, and belt manufacturers make what's called a belt tension checker. And what this device is, is if you push in on one end, it's the number of pounds of spring tension, and there's a little O-ring. And then on the other end is a scale. So on this particular drive, you look up in our IOM manual, and it says that for a three-quarter inch deflection in the belts, so you set this washer at three-quarters of an inch, that we're supposed to have between 15 and 22 pounds. So we're going to pretend like this is a used drive, which would be 15 pounds tension. 
And all we're going to do is go to the center of the drive between the pulleys, push this in the middle, push on this spring until this O-ring lines up with this other belt. And then you're going to bring it back up and you're going to look and this one said 14 pounds. So Rick was pretty good on his belt tension. I uh, might want to tension it up just slightly more, but that's a, a little more scientific way of setting belt tension.